People Are Strange by The Doors, one of my favorite songs. We are strange, aren't we? Yes, we are. Um, so uh, it's one of my favorite Doors songs, actually, because I think the opening riff is just absolutely killer. Um, it's just a cool kind of bluesy, clever thing, okay? So uh, let's get into it. It's basically based on just a few chords, an E minor, an A minor, a B7, and back to E minor. All right? But the first thing right off the bat is that three note intro, okay? Um, we're on the second fret on the A string. Then we strike that string open. And then the third fret on the top string with a slight blues bend. Okay, and that leads us into the first E minor chord. And uh, I'll talk about the fingers that I'm using because I think that's super important. Uh, you can use different fingers if you want to. It doesn't really matter, but I think this way is uh, pretty economical and pretty efficient. So I'm starting with my second finger and going to my ring finger, the third finger for that note on the uh, top string on the G fret. So as I said, that leads us right to the E minor chord and uh, I'm using my two middle fingers, as you can see. I think that's, um, I think that's a great idea. Uh, it will reveal itself as we make our way through the riff, right? Um, why that's a good economical way to do it. On the picking, I'm going three down strokes, and then from the G string, two up strokes. Now, you don't have to use cross picking to play this. You can just play the whole thing with straight down strokes, feel free to do that if that's easier. Uh, but I, I like the cross picking approach because it makes the riff sound nice and round, nice and smooth. So we've got. Okay. And then from where your second finger is right here on the E minor chord, you walk it down two, one open, and you can play those again, all with down strokes if you want, or alternate pick them okay so what I did was I slipped my fingers down to the next two strings for what I'll call a mock <laughs> a minor chord because you're not playing a full a minor so now you're taking off of the a string and I like an upstroke there on the G string So what we have so far is a little bit slower. Okay, now after we've played the mock A minor chord, take your fingers off and hit that open G string. Now a little trick here to making this sound really good is when you hit that open G string, just move your fingers back to the E minor shape. You're not going to play that E minor chord per se like you did before, but it helps define the E minor chord, which is where that open G string is coming from. You see what I mean? And you'll kind of hear your fingers just sort of shape it. Otherwise, you get a kind of strange open ringing sound, right? Which is not really uh, capturing the way he played it. Okay. Just like that, right? And then you play those three notes again to make your way back to the A minor chord again. And then come back to the E minor, hit the A and the D string together the open G string. And that's kind of light, you know. Um, he played with his fingers, of course, so it's a, a little bit different sound, you know, but uh, just play it nice and light so that it's not sort of uh, accentuated. All right, this is what we have so far. And 
then you're going to do a, a hammer on three notes. Now, I actually play that with my first finger and my ring finger. That's not a technique that I normally use, but I think it works out great for this riff. It kind of keeps your hand in one place instead of doing a lot of jumping around. But feel free to do it with your first two fingers if you want to. And then we form an inverted B chord. I'm on the second fret on the top string, second fret on the next string, and the first fret on the D string. It's a B chord, you know, it's just a B, a D sharp, and an F sharp, but inverted F sharp, B, D sharp. And again, if you want to use your first two fingers, feel free. But it feels a little bit more awkward to me. It sounds like you can kind of make the chord and the riff connect together more smoothly if you play it with those fingers. Right? Your finger's free to hit that. And again, I'm going down, down, up in the right hand, but you can do down, down, down. It's all cool. Open E string, okay? Now you started off the second time playing it the same way, right? The phrasing is a little bit different out the gate instead of it's before you hit into the E minor chord. But you do it the same way right up till the very end. So it is exactly the same up to this point. And then this time when you go to the Mach A minor chord, you go. So I go down, down, up, up, A string, D string, and G string. Okay? Then your, this finger is already on an E note as part of the chord you're playing, so just go like this. You can kind of barely hear that when he plays a riff, but it's definitely there. Open E string on the top, skip a string D. And you notice I took my ring finger off so that that A note doesn't keep ringing through the E chord. That doesn't sound too great. And then the hammer on again. Exactly the same as before. And there is the intro. And the count on that intro is one, two, three, four. Right? And a little bit of a bluesy bend on that G note. One, two, three, four. And there you go with the intro to the tune. All right? So let's get into the verses a little bit. So, after you come off the end of the riff, uh, it's a B7 chord to a G major chord. B7 to G major, however you decide to play them. Uh, but what's being played on the guitar is actually these little reggae jabs, okay, which he uses uh, quite a bit in the song after the intro. Um, I'll show you how to play that, you know, so that you can play along with the recording if you want to, but then I'll show you how to play it in open chords and strumming on guitar because the, the chords, the jabs, the staccato jabs sound pretty empty by themselves, right? They sound great on the recording, but leaves you kind of, you know, with not much to uh, <laughs> have behind you if you want to sing it or something. So it's a B7 to a G major chord. We'll talk about playing it like that after I show you the jabs. So he's just really playing across the uh, first three strings, E, B, and G. And he's just doing these staccato jabs on two and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, one two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. So I'm sure you can see that on the tab. It's pretty clear. Uh, but if you want to play it, like I was saying a second ago, on guitar by itself and make it sound full, you want to play those full-on chords, right? And you can play this any way you want. You can play using an open B chord, B7 chord, to an open G. That's totally fine. Or if you want to use the bar chords, I think they sound uh, even a little bit better. But the rhythmic strumming pattern that's best for this is down, up, down, up, up, down. That kind of captures that you know, eighth note feel, the upbeat feel that the song has. 
So to G major. Or if you want to use the open position chords. Uh, but I think the bar chords sound a little, you know, a little bit better, a little bit tighter. And you've got that bend on the 10th fret on the B string. Classic 60s stuff there. Now the guitar doesn't actually do that. It doesn't actually play that, but again, if you're playing it on guitar by yourself, uh, it's nice to put in there, okay? So that's second fret A string, open, third fret on the top string, second fret, and you're back, okay? So on the verses, he does the same thing on the recording. He plays these reggae jabs, I call them, across the bottom three strings, and they're just a minor shape. 12th fret, 5th fret, back, and then the B, which we've already used there as well. And the jabs are on 2 and 4, just like they were before, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4. That sounds pretty cool, right? Um, and it's great if you're playing along with the recording, but if you're playing the song by yourself and you just want to play it on guitar, you can just play it strumming the uh, open chords, all right? So let me uh, go through that as well. So the chords I'm using are uh, E minor, A minor, and B7, okay? So it goes E minor, A minor, E minor, A minor, B7, E minor, and you start over again. Uh, but it's got that eighth note upbeat feel to it, so you want to go. That's the first thing you want to do. Down, up, down, up, up, down. And that's the basic rhythm you're going to play, but you're going to sort of hook that up with the chords as they pass through the progression. A minor back to E minor for the up, up, down. That's real important. And you can see that you do that movement from A minor to E minor with that strumming pattern two times. And then B7. Same thing, attack the E minor chord with the upstroke. And that's the full progression uh, for that part, of course. starts on E minor, ends on E minor, and then restarts on E minor, okay? And the two backing chords behind the solo are uh, B7 to E minor. I'm playing them as bar chords, but of course you can play them as open position chords again. B7, E minor, okay? So whatever you choose is fine. Uh, but you can use the same strumming pattern, you know, if you don't want to get into the uh, solo or whatever.
head back to the B7 to the G major thing. And again, you can play them as the reggae jabs if you want to, or you can uh, just play the full on chords. Uh, but the bend that he did though, that's a little bit different. It's pre-bent and then you release it, which sounds really cool. And then you're back to kind of the um, the E minor to A minor, E minor, B7 stuff. And again, you can play that with the uh, staccato jab chords, or you can play it with the open position chords. And that's a new part right there. When you get back to the B7 to the G major, B7, instead of or the released note, he's going. I kind of like to, you can just put it into the chord. Or with these fingers as well is totally fine. And so, at the very end of the song, when you're playing across the B7 to the G major, and they're hanging on the B7 chord a bit at the end, That's a B7 chord at the end, and you just kind of do a slow rake across the string. It's not like you're articulating. It's more like just kind of drag your hand across the strings. And of course, if you have a strat, just kind of pull up on the whammy bar a little bit and release it slowly, and you'll capture the recording. So there you go. People are strange by the doors. Um, just walking you through the song in a couple of different ways to uh, play it and approach it. If you're interested in the solo, uh, just drop me a comment and I'll go ahead and make a video for the solo, okay? So take care of yourselves.